turned 21, I celebrated the way a lot of people celebrate their 21st birthdays by like lots and lots of joyful drinking. And I went to bed around 4 a.m. But unlike most people who just turned 21, I didn't sleep in the next day and stumbled to brunch for a plate of potatoes. I woke up three hours later at 7 a.m. with my friends Nikki, Alexis, and Daisy to go on a hike. We were studying abroad at the time in Ecuador and we didn't want to miss any opportunity and this was the only time we could go visit Isla de la Plata, which means like so island of silver, but it's also known as the poor man's Galapagos and is supposed to have a lot of the same interesting wildlife and plants. So we rallied and we got to Isla de la Plata and it was really early, but already the sun was hot and we were feeling our hangovers. And as the tour guide was explaining that we were gonna walk the perimeter of this like desert island, we noticed that everyone in the group had bottles of water, but not just bottles, they had full gallon jugs, like the gallon challenge. <laughs> and we were starting to get worried about what it meant that we had nothing. But the tour guide said, don't worry, we've got two stations along the way where you'll be able to get drinks. So we thought, okay, let's go. And we were trying to appreciate the scenery, right? Like blue skies, just clear sun, no clouds, ocean. But most of the time I was like looking under rocks and hoping for Advil. And it didn't take long for me to start to lag behind the group. And I said to my friends, listen, go on without me. I need to slow my pace down. I'll keep the group in my eyes and I'll follow behind. And they left me alone. It was just me, the sun, my hangovers, my thoughts, and many, many blue-footed boobies. The bird that the island was famous for. And as I'm walking and dehydration is making itself known, my brain started to get a little loopy. And suddenly this like miraculous thing happened. It was like I was in the movie, have you heard of it? Dr. Doolittle. Too. So it was like I was Raven Simone who realizes she can silently commune with animals but doesn't want that ability. And every bird that I looked at was like every single one. Durr, I'm a bird. And who are you? Durr, I'm a bird. And who are you? And initially I was like, Durr, I'm Kelsey. <laughs> but then I realized like what they were asking me was a lot deeper than that. <laughs> who was I? What was my purpose? And then I realized when it all was stripped away, I was a person who wanted water. <laughs> so I see the drink hut up ahead and I'm like, okay, I can get there. And as soon as I walk under the shade of it, the tour guide is like, okay, she's here, let's go. <laughs> and I'm like, oh God. So I beeline it to the cooler and it's empty. But I'm not above a lot, so <laughs> desperate times. I went to the trash can where there were Dixie cups and I found one with a drop of red Kool-Aid left in it. And I like unfurled my little sandpaper tongue and I just dropped that backwash into my mouth and it like evaporated like water on a hot pan. And so I thought, fuck it, I gotta get a little bit quicker. I need to pick up the pace. I need to get to that second water station before this happens again. And so I ignored the birds who were still asking me about myself. And I was like, you know what? When the going gets tough, Kelsey, the tough get going. And so I was like booking it. But you know, I was feeling like I was booking it, but maybe, <laughs> maybe the fact that I was hung over and out of shape was like affecting me. So I'm like, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. It was a mantra, but to my dismay, the gap between me and the group was getting bigger. And suddenly I lost meaning of that phrase. And I started to ponder like, what does it even mean? Does it, does it mean when times are hard, you work harder, or is it sarcastic? And it just means like people who pretend to have their shit together when things go hard, just like run away from the problem, which is what I was hoping I could do. When I got to the next drink station, you guessed it, no drinks. 
I was getting fairly desperate and very pathetic. And I was just like eager for a sense of relief. Like I needed a cloud, I needed a breeze, I needed a cool drink. No, just kidding, <laughs> actually I didn't need that. So I'm looking ahead and I see the group turn up a small incline and like, the thought of an uphill might have like collapsed me at that point, except for one thing. There was vegetation there, okay? And so what does vegetation mean? Not water, I'm not gonna bite a leaf. It means <laughs> shade, okay? I knew that vegetation meant shade. And so I was like, okay, I'm back to glass half full, right? I'm an optimist, I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna find some relief. And so I, I just like, didn't look anywhere else, I just looked down and just walked. And when I got to my little desert oasis, it was nothing more than a shrub that came to my shins, prickly and low to the ground. But like I said, I'm an optimist and there was a patch of shade there, a patch of shade about the size of a paper plate. You know what else is the size of a paper plate? My head. So I got down on my knees, I was still too high, and then I got down, I laid down, and I just shimmied under that prickly bush. And I like closed my eyes and I felt good. It was where I was meant to be. Of course my friend Daisy did not abandon me. She was a good friend. She shook me on my shoulder. She had come back for me and she said, Kelsey. And I was like looking at her just like red in the face, sweaty and like sunburned. And she was like, you can't stop. <laughs> It's just like, you're not allowed. Like, this is not a spot that you can stop. And so she helped me up, and she actually stuck with me for the rest of the hike because I hadn't proven trustworthy. And so, you know, it's 10 years since I did that hike. Um, and since then, of course, I've, like, rehydrated, and the birds have stopped talking to me, but I was never able to, again, grasp the meaning of when the going gets tough, the tough get going. So if you have an idea or a theory on what that means, please find me at intermission. Thank you.